Greetings YouTube, GliderGuider1 here with the Impossible Glider. So what's impossible about it? Well, this is one of the first airplanes I've made where the vertical fins, as you see here, are completely in front of the center of gravity. That's right, this plane balances about a quarter inch back from the, uh, or excuse me, a half inch back from the tips of those points on the leading edge there. That's right, it flies that way. So you'll see this features the uh, stagger tooth design <clears throat> whereby half the points are bent up, the other half down. That gives it even more lift beyond what standard points would uh, allow. And you'll notice these radical fins up in the front here. Um, again, they're ahead of the center of gravity. Uh, notice how they're towed in, <clears throat> which helps immensely with the stability. And you'll notice some reflex on the back. Now you might be wondering just how can this thing fly? How well does it fly? Well, I'm going to show you very shortly here. Uh, one other thing I'll point out before flying this thing is there is no extra nose weight on it. The, all the nose weight that's required is provided by those two fins hanging off the front. So with that said, let's get this thing flying. Get it set up on the board. All right, ready for takeoff. All right, sorry about that. It's a little, uh, there. There we go, so a little bit of turbulence on the launch there, but you can see this thing handles very, very nicely. I have no problem at all guiding it where I want it to go which is counter to pretty much every airplane out there. Um, yes, there are some planes that have a fin. Uh, there are planes and missiles that have fins ahead of the center of gravity, but those all have to be actively controlled. This is one of the first planes that has vertical fins ahead of the CG, and it's completely passive. So again, just floating it around here. It flies very nice. It's uh, made out of ScienceToyMaker.org's uh, Time Warp Asia foam. This is a very, very light, half millimeter thick foam. Uh, wonderful stuff. Uh, these sheets come out extremely smooth and flat. And it's uh, anything made from those is a pleasure to fly. Just because it ends up being so slow because this is so light. And again, this plane is even slower than most of my aircraft made from this material because of those uh, stagger teeth points on the front, which helps significantly with the uh, stall speed and pitch stability. And so, with that said, this shows that the impossible glider is actually possible. So I'm going to ask you all on YouTube, just how exactly is this thing getting its stability? How on earth can I have vertical fins in front of the center of gravity completely and yet still have a plane that has positive yaw stability? So again, here I go, turning it back and forth, no problem. This thing is actually stable enough that it can be flown as a stand around glider even where I don't walk and I simply wave the board back and forth in a figure eight pattern but with that said I won't be doing that now because it's extremely difficult to do that and videotape at the same time so we're just gonna fly it around the house just a little bit more And then, uh, again, I'm going to leave it to you. Uh, how does this thing get its stability? Uh, leave your answer in the comments, and I'm going to 
let you all know the real answer in about a week. So with that said, Glider Guider 1, signing out.